G'day mates, this is a video on how I inoculate mulch and the benefits on having beneficials in there and having the right beneficials. And at the end, I go through a chart, it's pretty extensively, on showing the right amount of beneficials to use and for the right thing in a few different substrates. It's really, really cool and formative. This is the benefits of mulch. So the bottom left, it nourishes soil, suppresses weeds, conserves water, regulates temperature, and it prevents erosion. And now I'll go through a little bit of the prac stuff. This is um, <coughs> bubbling up pretty good. Been in here for about 12 hours. It's pretty thick. It's probably about, about that thick. And I got it out of the um, the grass clippings, it was fully in the sun, so I know it's been all UV sterilised and stuff, so I'm just trying to get the protozoa off it. And the protozoa are really good decomposers in the soil food web. They feed on bacteria, and they're a single cell organism. Here's the link up the top right, I um, went through this in another um, video. And here's the soil food web, so at the bottom, so you've got organic food matter, the bacteria and fungi, the nematodes, they feed on that, then upwards of microarthropods, and then birds, so it keeps it all in cycle but I've inoculated it <coughs> with some of this. It's got... Uh... All right, well, I'll tell you. There's um, Rhizopagus, Regularis, Bacillus subtilis, Trichoderma, and this shows about beneficial fungi. So in the middle, the Trichoderma, the one that I've got, Hazarium, it's known to parasite important plant diseases like dampening off. So it can set up and establish itself there, so it makes it very hard for anything else to take over. And the last one is... Uvaria bassiana. And that's an entomopathogenic fungi on the top line that causes white musculin disease in a range of insects. This is how it's formed. So on the left, it's spore, firm spores. When they go airborne, they'll germinate, they'll put the tube out, then they'll go left and then put out the toxins, which will go into the host and cause problems. And then they'll re-germinate and sprout again. And that's why they get the, the disease on the top of it, which is the white furry spores. And this shows if you want to get some in public and in nature, go out and get your own. So you get the top line, plate it, make sure you select well. It's very important. So I'm going to inoculate this mulch. This will go on top. And then, then in a probably, oh, maybe I'll let it all dry and give it another uh, feed. And then probably... Yeah, a day or so after that I'll put worm castings on the top and seal it in. So this will all form a nice fungal layer. Yeah. This is how it looks out in the field when I put it in the plant. So it's a very thin layer I put on here, but just gives you an idea. And this is um, when it's finished. So you can see it's all harvested and all done. So it's just very therm, but it's, um, it's good at last. Now this cool bar graph. So see on the top here, effect of different organic wastes and microbial inoculants on carbon and nitrogen. And it was for vermicompost, but it's just giving us an idea, you'll see at the end. So then on the right hand side, the inoculations, are C is the control at the top. Then you've got trichoderma, azos, and then some bacillus, and then there's a mix at the bottom. What they um, put the substrate as, um, the water hyacinth, which is um, a bit, bit of a pest, paddy straw, which I use or sawdust. So on the left, we'll go through the nitrogen for the starting and let's look at the PS, so the paddy straw. So if you go down, you'll see that uh, azos, AZ, is 20. So that means it's a nitrogen fixing bacteria, which it is, and that shows in the results. And you go down to the 22 and it shows that they put it in the blend, in the mix, and it's a good mix because some mixes don't work. So you go to the right side where it says mean, and you can see a 58% increase for the azos by adding it to the blend. And for adding the mix to the blend, it was a 70% increase. Massive amounts. So it's well and truly worthwhile doing. And then on the left, the organic carbon has a similar type of effect where it's going, it has the numbers that are accordingly as well. And this is the same one, and it shows the difference. It's, everything's the same, um, just phosphorus and potassium change. So we'll go on the left-hand side, phosphorus first, and we'll pick the PS in the middle, and go down to, because it's phosphorus, we'll go with phosphorus solubilizing bacteria, which is the Bacillus polymixer. So you can see it's 9.5, and the control is 7.7. .7. So that's a decent increase. And then the mix goes up to 
So if you go on your mean on the right hand side, you can see 7.5 it goes up to, which is a 43% increase from adding the right types of blends to the right areas to get what you want. On the right hand side, potassium. So potassium solubilizing bacteria, KSB, uh, is 12.2 for the middle column. And by the mix underneath it, 13.2, so they had a good mix that went up. And then on the right hand side, the averages. So by the mix, 10.4, that's a 45% increase. It just shows adding the right things to the right areas will get your results, but you need the right temperatures too. And with the temperatures, if it goes below zero, that's up the top, microbial activity ceases. So just underneath the bacterial microbial activity is greater at warm temperatures. The rates of which microbial process, it doubles every 10 degrees Celsius. Very full on. And you don't want to go over 35, 40, but yeah, who does that? <laughs> but a take home message is um, second line down, combined application of microbial inoculants, just like we looked at, the trichoderma, azos, etc., the bacilluses, in the in organic mix improves the chemical and biochemical properties and that says of verma casting but it improves of everything we did it in mulch as well and then you go down to the bottom line and the effective shelf life of verma castings is 90 to 105 days and for teas it's only three days so be careful if you see um, anything that's sold a little bit anyway happy growing happy breeding thanks for watching